Hey everyone, Rat Benatar here from the All Rats team, part of the Third Web community. Recently, we published a video to help you answer the question, which blockchain should I use when launching my Web3 project? Well, today, we're taking that a step further and helping you answer another important question. Which NFT contract should I use? With all of the different choices available from Third Web's pre-built contracts, you'll want to know the different nuances of each type of contract before you fully launch, and I'm here to help you do that. So, if you are either looking to learn more specific details about the types of NFT contracts that are available to you through Third Web, or get help on deciding on the contract that's right for you, then you need to watch this video to the end. As always, if you enjoy this content, please be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to our channel, and share it with a friend who may enjoy it. Now, before you jump into Third Web to launch a brand new NFT project, you should probably have at least some idea of what you're looking to accomplish. If you're not there yet, I'm here to help narrow some things down for you. The majority of this video will be spent looking specifically at the details of the different NFT contracts, but just so you know, we have a variety of supporting contracts that might help you make some decisions along the way, like, do you want to create your own marketplace? Because maybe you work with a group of artists and want to organize their work all into one place, rather than just having it sprawled out across OpenSea. We have a marketplace contract for you to set up, allowing for both ERC721 and ERC1155 tokens. What if you want to create your own tokens? Perhaps you plan on having a staking mechanism for your NFT project, and you want to reward users with your very own ERC20 token. But of course, neither of these are really possible without first creating your own NFT collection. So what's available to you there? The first thing to nail down is probably the quantity of these NFTs. Is this the kind of thing where you've just spent the last two months preparing a collection of 5,000 or even 10,000 unique NFTs, and you want people to come to your website and mint them one at a time? Then what you're looking to do is release a drop, and specifically an NFT drop from the selection here. The token type for this contract is ERC721, and this is the standard for any one-of-one -one or PFP NFT collections. Using an NFT drop contract will allow you to do all sorts of things with your collection, including batch uploading, which saves you time and money in the upload process, choosing to do a delayed reveal, embedding a mint widget into your website, and it also gives you a robust set of options for the claiming of these tokens from your audience, like setting up an allow list or a presale, and setting up a schedule of claim phases. The claim phases are what allow you to define the time frame, price, and amount of tokens that anybody can claim at any given moment. As a result of using this contract, your NFTs will automatically begin to show up in a place like OpenSea too, the instant that they are claimed by your audience. If all of that sounds like what you want, the NFT drop contract is likely a good option for you. Now, what if you don't have thousands of pieces that you want to add up front, but you do want to build up a collection over time of unique one-of-one -one pieces, then you're probably looking for an NFT collection contract. This is also an ERC721 token and will allow you to continually add pieces into the collection over time. As soon as you've created the piece, it's ready to go inside of OpenSea and other markets, and you'll be setting the price of each token individually. This is the kind of collection you'd want to set up if your main audience is not coming to your website to mint the tokens themselves. Instead, maybe you're directing them to your OpenSea collection or your own custom marketplace each time that you've added a new piece. This contract will not give you an embed widget, nor will it allow for batch uploading. This contract is particularly great for anybody who spends a lot of time on each unique piece of work and wants each piece to be its own, rather than a generative PFP project. Now, this is also probably a good time to mention the different types of media that you can mint through Third Web. The majority of NFT projects tend to strictly use static images, like JPEGs or PNG files, but yours doesn't have to be that way if you want to stand out. Third Web additionally supports audio, video, HTML, text, PDF, and even 3D model files too. This project is a great example of an NFT project that made use of audio and video for their collection. Three D models are really cool because you can click and drag them around inside of OpenSea. Early supporters of Third Web might remember this use of an animated GIF for a membership NFT, and you can even use a PDF, which makes for great cover art for magazines, 
or poetry, and more. Now, whether you're minting your NFTs one at a time in the NFT collection contract, or if you're doing a batch upload in the NFT drop contract, you can mix and match these file types as you need. We have detailed instructions and templates for you at the upload screen in both places. Okay, if full collections with multiple pieces aren't what you're looking for, that likely leaves you looking for an addition contract. An addition is kind of the opposite of what we were just talking about. Rather than having multiple one-of-one -one pieces with only one owner per piece, an addition is created as one piece held by multiple people. These are most common for things like memberships, events, fundraisers, or other commemorative pieces that grant users special access to something. So in order to find out which edition contract is for you, it's time to ask yourself some final questions. Do you want people to visit your site and claim these tokens? If so, once again, you probably want an edition drop contract. Otherwise, if you're just looking to put up a single token and don't want to bother with the claiming process, you likely want the edition collection contract. Whichever you choose, most of your main process is going to be similar to the ERC721 contracts that we just looked through, but I did want to point out one powerful feature that applies for both of your edition contracts, the ability to airdrop. Airdropping tokens is the act of sending out an NFT to a wallet address so that they don't have to claim it for themselves. We have a full previous video on how that works if you're interested. Using the addition drop contract in conjunction with airdrops can be a really powerful reward system for your holders. Take the NFT project Honeys, for example. They have a 10K collection on Ethereum, and every month they reward qualifying holders with an airdrop of a series of five different ERC-1155 tokens on the Polygon network. If you wanted to replicate that model, you can upload your art each month, navigate to the dashboard here, click airdrop, and follow the on-screen instructions to send your members their rewards. So in sum, let's take one last look at a comparison chart. ERC-721 token contracts are what you want for one-of-one one NFTs. ERC-1155 token contracts are what you want for one-to-many NFTs. And or the ability to set up claiming tokens from your website, you will want to check out the drop contracts. For smaller, simpler collections where you don't wish to set up claiming, you'll want the collection contracts. In any case, you have the ability to airdrop tokens to holders, and you'll have the benefit of being able to upload just about any media file that you can think of. And finally, whatever you create will be automatically pulled into markets like OpenSea for you. There's no additional configuration for that. So I hope that that was all really helpful for you in making your decision. Don't forget that you can always test things out on a test network before committing to one specific contract and spending money on those transactions. If you have any ideas that we didn't cover or any questions about the content, please just share with us down below. We would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.